So this is what I can look like before we are able to start cooking them. Um, when, we're, when we're lucky, they come out looking, um, or come out of the water looking like this. Just presumably one thing, possibly um, one or two things attached to it. And we also, in that tank over there, have the next kind we're going to be working on that is covered in uh, broken glass and ceramics. It has some plates on it. It has the lining or lead lining for a box. All sorts of stuff. Um, but it's also very exciting. Um, so our process for um, iron and wood um, kind of differ, but for all of these artifacts, because they come from a marine environment, it's very important to remove the salts from them because um, for some artifacts, um, if we allow the, um, the artifacts to just dry out without doing anything, um, as they dry, the salt crystals will expand, and it's actually possible for uh, the, that process to completely destroy an artifact even as big as a cannon. Um, it might take a year or five years, but it will eventually just crumble. Um, so what we can do is either put it through um, successive baths of water with less and less salt content, uh, which for small organics and some small metal art objects is fine, it works out great, it might take a year. Um, but for large objects like a cannon, it could take up to 30 years depending on the size. Uh, so what we do instead is a process called electrolytic reduction, um, which because we've had to rearrange our warehouse, I will talk about over there. Um, <laughs> in the meantime, let's check out this one. Um, you can see we have most likely a line of three cannonballs right there. We have a pewter plate sticking out here. We have a much more noticeable pewter plate sticking out right there. This is most likely the lead lining for a box, possibly that held um, uh, cannonballs or possibly uh, gunpowder. And then there is a gun carriage, hopefully gun carriage parts on the bottom. And then strewn all throughout, you can see broken glass and ceramics. It's just a smorgasbord of artifacts. Um, we're all very excited to start working on it because it has such interesting stuff. When will you start working on it? Uh, we're actually going to start working on it in um, two weeks. Uh, we're going to we usually only work on cannons like maybe once a month uh, just because of scheduling, but we all locked out a week that we're just going to be all working on this. So hopefully, hopefully we'll find some, some cool stuff on there. How much one of these times what? Uh, the cannons, well, the, let's see, I think the, the cannon in there that's completely decreated was 